This video contains detailed instructions on the wiring and configuration of the Pixis ST500 inline PTSA sensor to a Wallchem W600 controller. The ST500 sensor offers PTSA output as a standard 4 to 20 milliamp signal, as well as RS485 Modbus with a factory preset scale of 0 to 200 ppb. Prior to any wiring, please be sure to power down your W600 controller unit. For wiring to a W600, you'll be using the 4 to 20 milliamp or analog output signal available from the ST500. To properly terminate the 4 to 20 milliamp signal from the ST500 sensor to the W600, you'll be landing your input signals to terminal block number 2. The red wire is 24 volt power and should be terminated to input slot 1. The black wire is power ground and should be terminated to input slot 2. The green wire is 4 to 20 milliamp negative and should be terminated to slot 3. The white wire is 4 to 20 milliamp positive and should be terminated to input slot 4. Finally, the clear wire should be terminated as earth ground. So again, that's red to 1, black to 2, green to 3, white to 4, and clear to ground. The ST500 probe can be viewed, diagnosed, and calibrated using the UPixis application for either smartphone or desktop. The UPixis app also allows users to adjust the upper measurement limit of the ST500 probe up to a maximum of 600 ppb as PTSA. Use of the UPixis app for smartphone will require the Pixis wireless adapter to be installed between the ST500 probe and the controller. Use of the UPixis app for desktop will require the Pixis USB adapter to be installed between the ST500 probe and the controller. Both adapters are sold separately and available at pixis-lab.com shop. To hardwire the ST500 probe to the W600 controller, use the 8-pin adapter cable. After landing the wires of the ST500 to the W600, you may power up the unit and prepare for probe configuration. Once the probe has properly been wired, you may proceed to configuring your W600 unit as normal.